I think we should celebrate marketing bravery because I think it's becoming increasingly rare. We're seeing a lot of uh, reliance on research and on data, uh, which leads to a very kind of a sensible and logical kind of um, place. But actually, I don't think uh, it creates great kind of creative work that cuts through. We want to kind of celebrate those marketeers that, that uh, are, are capable of kind of cutting through all of that, going with their gut and their instinct and actually trusting their own intuition. And we don't really see uh, a great deal of that today. Trends, uh, retail, it's problematic in the world of retail. Uh, you've got, obviously, uh, a lot of online purchasing and then what do you do with your physical real estate. So we think that there's gonna be a continued trend towards looking to integrate more experience into those spaces, more selfie moments, more something that you just can't get online. You know, that's something that we hope happens because, uh, you know, it makes um, uh, brands much more interesting when they can interact with their consumers in three dimensions. In packaging, I think uh, we do quite a lot of packaging and uh, we're having a lot of success with uh, looking at a pack less as a, as a piece of uh, protective clothing for a product and more as a media space for a brand. And so I think we'll continue to see packaging being used more as a, a media space because if you look at the advertising landscape, it's incredibly fragmented. Um, and it's going to be hard for marketeers to get that cut through and it's that one piece of solid uh, real estate that they have on a shelf in somebody's house and we think that that will be a trend that continues to happen.